Alright, hello and welcome to Onakira Demon Killer. A game that is currently in alpha and tomorrow it will come out on Steam Greenlight. The finished game should be available February of next year. So, it's obviously currently not finished, but... So we're just going to do a little re review slash preview slash let's look at of what is currently in the game and what I think of it. So we've got our little intro. In ancient Japan it was said that a mortal could bind the soul of... This first bit doesn't actually make any sense because... Only once in all of history did this happen, for the results were so... The dialogue doesn't actually have like any ends. It began when the Emperor Huru in Hiromo, driven by lust for... Lust for snakes? Lust for power? Lust for women? We don't know. And thousand years of suffering followed by... for none could match. Match what? His Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I don't know. But yeah, this is it in Alpha and it'll be it in access tomorrow. Finally, it was like one of the last remaining dragons having Together they fought Hiromo, but unable to kill him they So yeah, early access tomorrow. And then a few months of that it said that they fight an eternal battle and should so, yeah, um, early access tomorrow should be out completed in February. If you buy it now, I believe it's a bit cheaper than if you wait until February. I think it's £7, or the euro equivalent, or the dollar equivalent right now. And then it'll probably go up by a few pounds, or a few dollars, or whatever as it reaches its conclusion of development. An awfully, un <laughs> an awfully roar is unleashed near the village, shrine where Ju um, Juro is meditating. What was that vile sound? Scream. Vile sounding scream. That came from the village! I must see if it is safe. So we play as Gyro. My blade will not fail me. So we got our sorry, it's a bit framey for a second. There we go. So okay, so we got our usual slash slash slash. Get some combos. It has the odd little frame issue here and there. Also, it's maybe possibly because I'm recording. So we also. I'm possibly going to have to stop this for a second and re sync stuff. Yeah, we're going to pause for a second. Hang on. Okay, I think I should sort the problems we're having there. No point in recording this in 60 FPS when it's a 30 FPS game. So, we've got our standard launcher move, so that puts me in the air and you can hack and slash, hack and slash, hack and slash. So, this is a 2D side scrolling. Beat em up slash slash em up type thing. And the reason they are putting it in early access is because it's not done, but what's available so far is actually pretty fun. Which is what's important. When you release a game that's just terrible in its current state in early access, it's not a good thing, but once doing well so far then you know you're good to go. So the current state includes two levels and um, all four weapons so we've got these combo blades which we do by doing this and they have different moves and do less damage but are faster than our katana. So it includes four weapons and um, two levels and one boss 
with a few different varieties of enemies, such as the these dudes, the floating heads, not the band. I think it's a band called the floating heads. I can't remember. Terrible memory for bands for some reason. So yeah, different varieties of enemies. There will be about double. The enemy types when the actual game is finished. But for now, there's just about four. And in addition to the levels, it also has an arena mode, which you will get to. Mm, we'll get to once we die. Oh, I got hit once. That sucks. So I lost a bit of my combo meter, but you know. They're not going to be going for the triple S, I'm not even sure if this game has triple S scaling in. Not scaling. Triple S. Um, combo meter. I imagine it will, possibly. Who knows? So you got to multitask a bit, you know? I should actually use my. Oh crap. Should actually use my other moves a bit, there we go. You can juggle enemies, as you can in a lot of games. This game is basically Devil May Cry DMC meets 2D. You know, so if you like that type of game, but are partial to a nice hand-painted background in a 2D world, ow. When you're nervous, maybe something you'd like to consider. Like I said, it's not finished, it is going into area access. So, what else is. I think I've listed everything that's included. Four weapons, two levels, one boss. Which we are actually coming up. Well, we're not coming up to right now, but we are about to see the boss. That is the boss. First boss is our next weapon. The Naginita. I have surely butchered how you pronounce that, but. So that's this. A bit more reach. Good for dealing with a lot of enemies. You know, usual stuff. Knock him into fire. Get out of my area, you. Get in the fire, bitch. And there is one more weapon which we'll get to in a minute. This game is actually fairly difficult. If you just try and button mash your way through it, you will probably die quite a bit. I know I died a fair few times. And one thing, in its current state, it doesn't actually let you continue. Ow. So if you die, well, if you die, you can continue, but if you return to the main menu, then you can't reload from where you left off. So, if you're making some good progress, don't be going to the menu. Just saying. Ow, I walked and stuff. I really did walk into that. I deserved get hit. Oh god, god! Horrible unnecessary beams of light were attacking me and I'm down to a D combo most parts. God awful. Um, is anybody can go up there? No. Okay, here's our last weapon, right. The tit titsable. Titsable. Which is basically a big club. You know, a bit slower, but does more damage. Tetsubo is actually very useful for the first boss, which I will show when we get to it. Providing I don't fail epically and we do get to it. Oh crap. Oh god, I'm about to die. Died. Right. That's a good way of demonstrating difficulty. So when you die, you can retry or quit. If you quit, you will be screwed right now because you will not be able to continue from where you left off. 
Either you just quickly try and you should be good to go. There we go. The checkpoints are fairly generous, I'd say. Yeah, the checkpoints are quite de generous. Although, in its current state, you can't heal. At least, I don't think you can. There is supposed to be some implementation of using souls to heal, which is a concept. The souls are a concept we'll run into later on. Right. Bash. Damn it, I'll try to bash you. Son of a. Damn it. I'm getting wrecked here now because I'm trying to do certain things. So obviously you attack with. Not obviously. You attack with X and Y. Uh, damn it. I, oh, I died. I just got comboed to death there by falling. Um, yeah, so you attack with X and Y if you're using a. 360 controller, whereas I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller, or well, or Xbox One controller. Whereas I'm using a free, uh, PlayStation 3 controller emulated as an Xbox controller. So I use square and triangle to do light attacks and heavy. Right. So you got. And R1 is my dodge. Something it's a bit hard to see where these floating heads are attacking you from because they have a little beam of light that shows for attack and when there's a say a sunset in your way, then you may be in trouble. Don't I want to bash you to the ground, bitch. There we go. Oh crap. Don't damn it, I'm getting hit off here. So as you can see, it's not the easiest game. What is actually for? Oh god, don't I jump! Don't jump into the fire, boy! It's not worth it. There we go. Right. So I just want to try and get to the first boss, and then I will show what the club's useful for. There are other enemy types, such as these guys who fire. Shotgun light blasts. The kind of jerks. In case you haven't noticed. Basically, the club hits really hard. Oh, cripes. Ow. Screw you, bro. The game does have move queuing as well, which means. Say, if you. Mash the crap out the button like I just did, it will screw you over incredibly. Because oh, I'm, I'm about to die here. Because moves will go off that you've queued beforehand, even when you've decided, oh wait, I don't want to do that, it's a bad idea. I would say that's what I did there, but no, it's not, I was just bad. I was hoping to get to the boss without dying, but that has not happened, has it? Oh, didn't think it'd be a nice checkpoint. Put it back here, damn it. Alright, launch. Launch! Launch, damn it! Smack him down. There we go. You need to smack him down, boy. I don't use my claws enough, really. I should use them more. Oh god, that's a sexy move. It's a very sexy move, I like it. Nope. Damn it, come on. Oh my god, I jumped into fire. There we go. The club's actually what? Um, not the Well, it is a basic club, but. Whatever its correct name is. One shots those floating heads. Certainly doesn't one shot these melee guys, but you know. I really want to get to the boss to show this off, but 
So I think if you damn it, I thought I was hitting you. Okay, so they, they can aim diagonally as well. Okay, that's good to know. Wasn't sure if they could. I certainly can. I'd like completely given up on my combo. Completely. These claws are actually a lot better than I give them credit for. They really are. They do a decent bit of damage for how fast they are. I can deal with quite a few enemies at once, I like it. I didn't realise they were this good. I really didn't. Die, you fool! I believe your combo multiplier only goes up if you alternate your attacks a bit. And do different combos. I think. Not 100% certain, though. No. Because I didn't think I saw my combat multiplier going up at all. I was just mashing the core attack over and over again like that. Don't you think the background looks lovely? Now this, this is the boss. Oh my god, I didn't die there. Thank god. This is what the club's useful for. The boss gets 100% wrecked by this club. Okay, I got owned there and died because I didn't even have one hit. The club might need to be nerfed a bit, at least against this boss. Possibly. So, ow. Ow, you jerk face jerks. God damn it. God damn move killing shenanigans. Oh crap. Oh, I'm so dead. So you can own this boss really e easily with the club if you play better than I do. And let's actually try and play better now. So why should you fight this boss seriously? Well, I'm just button mashing. Right. If you dodge at the right time, you can actually avoid getting hit by his beam. And if you don't dodge, you will get hit for a lot of damage. See? Dodge. It can actually take you, like, all the way down in your health. And once each phase of the boss fight is over, and you obviously want to deal with the enemies. Basically before that like, you just want to ignore them and try and dodge around them to deal with the boss. Because the boss is the big problem here. See, look at that damage. That's insane. Damage is insane. Get out of my way, boys. Got a boss to kill. As you can see, the combat is actually really fast paced and I find very fun. He does actually change up his moves a bit and starts doing that. Yeah, so the boss is dead. Ow. However, he will continue to do stuff until you kill the enemies that are on the screen as well. So that's the first boss out of the way. I'm gonna get hit by a big, big beam. Oh! What did that monster do? The blast should have killed me. What is this energy? I feel as though it, as death has its grips upon me. I see. So that monster's blast has connected me to the same realm of these corrupt souls. Let's see if my blade can cut you, ghost. Jado can now absorb souls. Now I'm just going to go as far as here. Not here. Sorry, um... This game has wall jumping, so that's awesome. 
Anything that has wardrobe has got to be good, right? Right. And here is where you will send, spend your souls. I don't believe we can currently unlock anything. Actually, hmm. Okay, we just don't have enough. Good to know. So, if I was a bit better, possibly I would be able to unlock this. But we don't. But I'm not, so. Okay, we're going to go back to the main menu. And we're going to look at the combat rangers. Hmm. Actually, I want, I want to look at the leaderboards. In a second. As soon as this is done loading. Hmm. So, kill as many enemies as possible before the tower runs out. Kills and soul some time. Kill as many enemies as possible by touching ground. Get as high a score as possible within the time. Let's try this one. Two, one, fight! For your right to party! Ow! Dang it. Screw you, bro. Screw you and your friend. And your floating heads. Ow, that didn't hit me. Come on, man. You used to be cool. Nah, I lie. You're a floating head. You were never cool. No one likes floating heads. Smack him down. I actually have good hitboxes, which I like. Meaning, <laughs> I don't have any phantom range in my club. Which is interesting. Nice change from Dark Souls to PvP. Boom, burn. Oh, Dark Souls won't be a big. Well, you know. Yeah. Moving on from that. So, if you like what you see, you might want to consider getting this game when it comes out tomorrow on early access. If you are a bit skeptic. Oh, God. I thought it was these bomb guys. These bomb guys are jerks. The jerks are also very nice guys because they actually will deal damage to them their own allies if the bomb lasts not lasts lands by them even damages themselves nice right right I'm just gonna s ow smack everyone with a club because why not? Time's up. Challenge failure. Because I'm bad. I got sensational. That's terrible. Let's look at the leaderboards. No one. Because this game is not out yet. But, you know, if you're someone who feels like they have to challenge their friends, then you can do that in the arena. Mm-hmm. So let's just summarize what I think of the game so far. Uh, so far, it is a bit short, obviously because it's early access, and it's not com currently complete. There are two levels, but when the full game is complete, which should be in February, I've said that about five times now, there should be eight levels, and I believe bosses for all of them, or every second level. I'm assuming all of them. Yeah. As to whether you should get this now, I think you should. I said it would be a bit cheaper if you get it during early access as opposed to waiting until February and getting the full game. Also, you get to see how well the game progresses over time, and even though the current bit's short, just two levels, it will probably take you a fair bit to get through them because it is a fairly difficult game, and if you try and bottom mash your way through, you will have trouble. But if you're someone who has been burned by air access games before, then you may choose to wait. So, currently it's fun. Has some work that needs doing. But we're going to be working on that. And, yeah. 
you should possibly look at this game. If you like 2D hack and slash, well not hack and slash, is that yeah hack and slash, beat them up, slash them up games, you like DMC meets 2D, that type of thing, then why not work this game? I also have a written review that should be linked in the description if you're watching this on YouTube, or should be below if you're watching this on Steam, etc, etc. So thank you for watching, I hope you find this helpful, and yeah, this is Onikara, on, Onikara, Onikara, Demon Killer, Demon Slayer, Onikara Demon Slayer, Killer Slayer, I've forgotten now, <laughs> but yes. There you go, there are my thoughts on the game. My written thoughts are much less blah blah blah. So yes, there you go. Your choice, I like it, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they improve the game as it goes on. So yes, 